Ask, 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 ask the local. Are we rolling yet? Uh, we are. Oh, hi. Welcome to Ask the Local. I'm a local. I'm a restaurant. That's what I actually, I'm a human being You're in a restaurant. In a restaurant. We are in Mel's Hot Dogs. My name is Mel. I am the Sultan of Sausage, Pharaoh of Franks, Wizard of Wieners. My wife and I have owned this lovely establishment for 47 years and nine months. But who's counting? My name is Anjali Davis and I'm Mel's daughter. It's very nostalgic for me to actually uh, be here and come in here, especially with my daughter now, because I truly did grow up here. It taught me a lot about the importance of hard work, about uh, small businesses, the importance of supporting small businesses. And to see something that has lasted for almost 50 years is truly remarkable and brings me great pride. In December of 1968, I was touring the country in a rock and roll band, playing saxophone, clarinet, flute, singing, percussion, doing all the fun things that rock and rollers do. Ended up in Sarasota, Florida. It was 78 degrees. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. It was balmy. And we had just left Lansing, Michigan, where it was in the midst of a brutal winter. I said to myself, self, you're not leaving. And I didn't. So I started to starve in Sarasota and came to Tampa looking for work as a musician. Went out to get a hot dog. Chicago has several thousand little hot dog stands, little, little tidy places. There wasn't a single hot dog stand in Tampa. So I said to myself, self, let's open up a hot dog stand between rock and roll bands. I find myself 47 and a half years later still between rock and roll bands. But I have all my horns. I mean, you know, perchance Paul McCartney gives me a shout, yo Mel, I miss ya. Hey, whatever, I'm ready to go. And here we are selling hot dogs and we've done, oh, okay. Paid a few bills, had fun, ate some good hot dogs. We have a crew of regulars, and I think the thing that makes it so special for us and for them is that they're truly like family. You walk in here, and if you've been here more than five times, half the time our employees know you order, and you don't even have to place it. As soon as you walk in, it's, hey, Wally, you know, the usual, and they'll have it waiting for you if you come at a certain time. So we definitely have a solid core of regulars that we're so grateful for. But also, we are right next door to Bush Gardens, so we have, especially spring break, summertime, we have an onslaught of kids and their families and that brings a whole different special dynamic to see families come in here and enjoy a meal together. Back in the early 90s I decided I wanted to do something crazy. I have an empty place in front of my restaurant and I, I'm gonna buy an old Wienermobile from Oscar Mayer, take their logo off it, put my logo on it and have fun. I managed to bull my way through levels of secretaries and got up to the vice president of marketing at Oscar Mayer talked about the amount of product we use. It's, it's tonnage, it's not pounds. And they were all real excited. This guy got, he said, you know, we don't normally do this, but, but I'm, I could actually consider it. And then he said to me, so who do you buy your Oscar Mayer hot dogs from? And I said, I don't use Oscar Mayer hot dogs. And all I heard was a click. So that was that. I decided it's time to do my own Wienermobile. And we have got a Wienermobile. If you Google Wienermobile, you'll see ours as much as you'll see the Oscar Mayer one. And ours tastes better. Not the Wienermobile, but our hot dogs. <laughs> Chicago dog, all the way. Mustard, onions, relish, pickles, tomatoes, celery, salt, and hot peppers. Bite the dog, nibble the peppers. Show the peppers the respect they're due. Truthfully, I also love a hot dog with just a tiny, tiny, thin stripe of mustard on it because you can taste the beef high quality beef, the bun, the mustard is a compliment, doesn't overwhelm anything. Actually, my favorite is the messiest thing that you can eat on the menu, it's the chili slaw dog. So chili, coleslaw, cheese, mustard, and onions. It's unbelievably delicious. Some people eat it with a fork. I think you just gotta go all in. <laughs> if you bake bread and you make a sandwich out of it when it's just cooled off, fresh out of the oven, the sandwich is amazing, but if that bread's been sitting around for a day or two, it's getting a little cold, a little dry. It's not so wonderful. So I discovered, and, and it's traditional in Chicago as well, steam the buns, get them hot and moist. The bun tastes like it just came out of an oven. You put a hot hot dog on a hot bun, 
and you got a hot sandwich in more ways than one. Ooh, that rhymed. <laughs> wow. I'm a good poet. Don't know it. Well, it's not. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Corned beef on rye sandwich. Salami sandwich. Hot dog. Hot dog. It is an iconic part of America. A hot dog. Unless you've been with some very, very bizarre people, you've not heard someone say, hey, I want to go get a hot dog sandwich. I'm going to go get a hot dog. I'm going to get a corned beef sandwich. I'm going to get a pastrami sandwich. I'm going to get a hot dog. So is the hot dog a sandwich? No. Shame on you for even thinking it. Yes, I do eat hot dogs. People come in and they'll say to me, You've been doing this for decades and decades and decades, and I say, yes. And they say, Shirley, you still don't eat hot dogs. And my response, first of all, my name's not Shirley. And yes, I do eat hot dogs. They're delicious. How, how can I come in here and not eat a hot dog? So it's simple, yes, I do. The one thing that I would say that's so important, especially in this day and age, is to support small businesses, get out there, try something new, stop in at Mills. The one thing that I'll always really hold dear to my dad is that growing up, we never went to chain restaurants. Never. He always would take us to these little mom and pop hole in the wall spots to try something new. And so that's what I would stress, whether it be here or anywhere else in the Tampa Bay community, get out there and try something new.